everyone, and welcome back to Math with Miss Wardell. So today we are on Tuesday, Colin, right? So here you can see my Mondays is done. Um, I have my paper from Monday, but I'm just flipping it over using the same one, right? So for the first one, it says round each number to the nearest 10 and 100. Well, remember when you're rounding to the nearest 10 and 100, oh, okay, um, Four and below, you round down. Five and above, you round up, right? So this 678, if I look at the the tens, right, that 8, which is in the 1s, that's what tells my 678, right? So this is what tells my 10 to round up or down. So it rounds up. So this would be 680. Um, I'm just going to go straight down for 298. This 8 tells this one to round up, but oh my goodness, to go up to 9 would be a whole 10. So now this turns into 300. 300 here. So the whole thing rounds up. For 305, this 5 tells this 0 to round up, so now this gets rounded to 310. 310. Okay? Now let's look at the hundreds. So now what we have to look at is now we look at the tens value. Now we look at here. We say, does this 7 tell this 6 to round up or down? Up, so this rounds to 700. Okay, 700. Just like this 9 would tell this 2 to round up to 300. And then the 0 tells the 3 to round down, which kind of just stays. So this is 300. Okay. There are 48 cookies at the holiday party. Eight of the party um, guests are going to share the cookies. How many cookies will each guest receive? So I have 48 total divided by how many guests? Eight. How many will they share? How many will they share? Well, what times eight is 48? Six. So they will each get six cookies. Okay. I'm going to let you work on this quotient right here. Okay. Where you're working on the division. Mm -hmm. I think that you'll do really well there. And the next one says draw a fraction that's equivalent to one fourth. So if I'm talking about something that is equivalent to one fourth. Okay, so I'm going to draw a fourth, and then I can only shade in this one little thing over here. So I could split that in half, which now would make these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? Eight, and I could shade in one, two out of those eight, which would be equivalent. So two eighths is equivalent to one fourth. Buddy the dog ate one third of a bowl of food, and Freddy the dog ate one fourth of the bowl of food. Who ate more? Huh. Now this one is different. Okay. So let's see. Let's draw two tape diagrams the same length. Okay. Let's divide partition one and two thirds. Okay. One into thirds, so one, two, and one into fourths. One, two, three. Okay. 
So we're going to fill in one third and one fourth. So here's one third. Here's one fourth. Now, you can't really tell too awful easily, but in fact, if we put dotted line all the way down, oh, so there is more in a third than there is in a fourth. Not by much, but there is, because you don't have to share as much as you do with the fourth. Right, you get smaller pieces. So one third. So buddy. Buddy eight more. <laughs> buddy eight more. This next one says Jan and Susan went to the movies. It was two hours and eighteen minutes long. It ended at six PM. What time did it start? Okay, so it was, um, it ended at 6, well, let's see here, if it ends at 6 p.m., here's when it ends, okay, we want to know what time did it start, so I can go back two hours, right? About two hours. Let's see. One, two. So that's two hours. But I also have to go back how many minutes? 18 minutes. Okay. So in between here, there's one, two, let's see. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. So I could say. Wait, is that? So that's two hours and 18 minutes. I don't think it is. Actually, I think it's 3, 3, oh, I think it's 3, 15, 3, 30, 3, 45. Okay. So, if I tried to find out the 15, or sorry, 18 minutes. Apologize. So I'm back at 4 o'clock. Right? And if you think about a clock, okay, and here is the 15, 30, 45. Okay, so now we're going to go back. So, 55, 50. So, 4 o'clock. That would be 355. That's 5 minutes. 3. Oh, that's the 8. Sorry. Hang on. Let's see. At four o'clock, that's two hours. I'll go backwards. So three fifty five would be two hours and five minutes. Three fifty. Now I'm adding on five another five minutes. Two hours, ten minutes. Now I just need to do three more. One, two, three. So forty nine, right? Five, ten. <gasps> I need to go another fifteen or another five to go fifteen. Because I only went 5, 10, 45 would give me 15 minutes, 2 hours, 15 minutes, get 3, 45. Now I can go and count by 1s, ok, 
10, 40, 35, 40, and 2, 3. So 45, 44, 43, 42. So 342 is 2 hours and 18 minutes. That's not that bad. So she started at 342. 342. Okay. Next one says four um, snack Carlos is eating a banana and a bowl of grapes. The banana has a mass of 75 grams and the grapes have a mass of 48 grams. What is the total mass of Carlos snack? Well, you just add it up using um, 48 plus 75. I want you to tell me what his total mass was here. I think you can tell me. And then we're going to find the perimeter. So remember, with perimeter, you are adding up all the sides. So find all the sides and tell me what is the perimeter. Remember? I have to add 2 plus 7 plus 7 plus 1 plus 9 plus 8. Alright guys, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.